You're watching InfoSec Bytes, a crash course in information security for journalists. We're based at the Centre for Investigative Journalism in London and supported by the Logan Foundation. This is a tutorial on how to securely erase on Windows using a tool called BleachBit. This video is provided for information only. It cannot replace the advice of a trained security professional. If lives or safety depend on your security, please seek the advice of an expert. The Centre for Investigative Journalism is a pioneer in providing expert information security training services to journalists and journalistic institutions. To consult with an expert through the CIJ, or to arrange a CIJ training session, contact the address on screen. The techniques demonstrated in this video are for destroying data. Curlessness while using them can destroy the wrong data, such as files you didn't want to erase, or even your entire hard drive. Do not use these techniques if you are unsure what you are doing. If you choose to use them, you do so at your own risk. If you haven't already, we recommend you watch our overview video, Protecting Your Data, before you watch this tutorial, to understand everything that's going on. You can tap on the pop-up message now to access it. Windows doesn't have any secure erasure tools built in, but there are a large number of third-party secure erasure tools available to download. This tutorial covers a tool called BleachBit, which is free to download and whose code is open source. You may have heard about BleachBit in the news. Reportedly, BleachBit was used by aides to former US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to erase official emails she had from a private server. We'll let you decide if that is a recommendation for BleachBit or not. To familiarize yourself with BleachBit's features, we're providing a link in the description to an overview of them on the BleachBit website, which we recommend you read. We also have a tutorial showing you how to perform similar tasks using another free Windows tool, Eraser. Eraser allows you to do some things BleachBit doesn't, such as securely erasing entire external drives. Neither of these tools allow you to securely erase your system disk. To find out how to do that, watch our tutorial on Darex Boot and Nuke, or DBAM. And finally, we also have a tutorial on how to use the Windows tool Veracrypt to encrypt your files and hard drives to secure your data. To watch any of these videos, click or tap on the pop-up message and select them from the menu. We'll start from the Windows desktop. First, we must download the program. Open a browser and type in bleachbit.org. When the page loads, click on the Download button. You will be asked to choose the platform you want to download BleachBit for. Choose Windows. And the site will offer you some options for the type of installer. Choose bleachbitinstaller.exe, which, as the description says, is the best option for most people. Presently you will be offered a download. Accept it and save the file to your Downloads folder. And then wait while the file is downloaded. When the file is downloaded, Navigate to your Downloads folder and find the BleachBit installer. Double-click on it. Select your language and press OK. Click I agree on the license agreement. And then Next on the Choose Components screen. And Next on the Install Location screen. And wait while BleachBit installs. When the installation is finished, you can leave this box ticked and click Finish to launch BleachBit. A shortcut should also appear on your desktop, which you can use to launch BleachBit in future. Now we will run through the things that you can do with BleachBit. We have placed a folder on the desktop with some sensitive files to help us demonstrate BleachBit. First, we will securely erase a single file to show how that is done. The normal way, the insecure way, to delete files on Windows is to send the file to the recycle bin and then empty the recycle bin. But, as we explained in the overview video, deleting data in this way does not properly erase it. It merely tells Windows that the space that data used to occupy is now free and that it can write over it again. The actual data could sit there for years before it is overwritten properly. To properly erase the data, you need to write new data over the space where the original data was, preferably multiple times. This is what BleachBit does. Find the file that you wish to erase and right-click it. In the right-click menu, there should be a new option, Shred with BleachBit. Click that option. The BleachBit window should open with the file listed in the main window pane and a confirmation window asking you if you are sure you wish to permanently delete the file. Choose Delete. 
BleachBit will now overwrite the file with random data, ensuring that it cannot be recovered even with forensic data recovery techniques. That's one way to erase individual files with BleachBit. You can also do it from the main BleachBit window. Click on File and then choose the Shred Files option. In the Choose Files to Shred window, navigate to where the file is, select it and click Open. Again, you will be asked to confirm. Choose Delete and BleachBit will go to work erasing the file. BleachBit also offers you an option to erase entire folders. To do this, you can either right-click on the folder while using Windows, or you can find the Shred Folders option in the File menu. We'll use the second option here. A Browse for Folder screen will pop up. Navigate to where the folder you want to erase is, highlight it and click OK. Be extremely careful that you do not accidentally select folders that you do not want to erase. You will be asked to confirm, click Delete. Again, BleachBit will go to work writing data, this time over each of the files contained in the folder. Now we will introduce a complication. In the days when all computers used standard hard drives, overwriting data was a reasonably reliable way of securely erasing it. It ensured that it could not be recovered. However, in recent years, computers have started replacing hard drives with solid-state drives, or SSDs. As we explained in the overview video, SSDs complicate matters because the way they write data is not the same as hard drives. Traditional erasure methods do not work on solid state drives. Even if you try to overwrite a file multiple times, there is no guarantee that the overwrites actually land on the data you want to properly erase. For all we know, the data is still sitting there, unerased, even when the process is finished. You should take this into account if your computer has an SSD rather than a hard drive in it. If you're using an SSD, the only way to ensure that you really do overwrite files you've deleted is to overwrite all of the free space on the drive. This overwrites all of the free space in your drive which of course includes the file we just deleted when we emptied the trash. It's basically a way of securely wiping all of the files you've deleted in the past so that any of the traces they left are removed. BleachBit can also do this and we're going to demonstrate it next. In the File menu, click Wipe Free Space. In this demonstration, we are going to choose the E drive, but you could just as easily choose the C drive, which is normally the system drive. Then click OK. BleachBit will then go to work, overriding the free space on the drive. Please note this can take a very long time, especially if you have a very big drive, or if the hardware's maximum write speed is not very high. Make sure you have time to be patient about it before you do it. Once it's finished, the free space on the drive, even on an SSD, will have been properly overwritten. BleachBit also offers a series of custom erase procedures which deliberately targets and erases particular kinds of data that gather on a Windows system. For instance, certain applications, such as Firefox, often leave huge amounts of data on your hard drive which give away information about your browsing habits, your login data and other things. Likewise, Windows itself generates a huge number of temporary files which can contain information about work you've been doing using the computer and which Windows is sometimes very erratic about properly deleting. Erasing this kind of data is often very laborious on a Windows system because it is hard to keep track of all the apps that are creating data. BleachBit knows where to look for this data and obligingly subjects it to a more rigorous erasure than it would have if you erased it manually. All of these custom erase tasks are listed in the left-hand pane of the main BleachBit window. The list of tasks varies depending on what kinds of applications you have installed on your system. The tasks are divided into sections, based on the applications they apply to. If you would like to run a task, you can click on the box beside it to select it. You can select multiple tasks at the same time and then run them all together. You should investigate the available tasks yourself to decide whether you want to use them, but we will run over some of the main ones. The Deep Scan section looks for files and other data that are created by Windows and which you may want to erase, including temporary files, backup files, and metadata files that contain records of the other files that have been on your disk. The Firefox section allows you to erase all of the records and files created by Firefox, including browsing history, browsing cache, cookies, and download history data. In this demonstration, we are going to select all of the tasks together and run them simultaneously. If you want to select all of the tasks in a category, you can click the box next to the category to select all of the underlying tasks. When you are finished selecting your tasks, 
find the Clean button at the top of the Bleach Bit window and click it. Bleach Bit will ask you to confirm. Click Delete. And the process will begin. Bleach Bit will present you with data on how the task is progressing. This process can take a long time depending on the tasks you have selected. Make sure to wait until the end to ensure that the data is erased properly. That's it for our Bleach Bit tutorial. But as a closing remark, we'll point out that BleachBit frequently updates the custom erased tasks when new versions of BleachBit are released. So if you want to ensure your copy of BleachBit is doing its job, you should update the software regularly. If you haven't already, we recommend you watch our overview video protecting your data. We also have a tutorial showing you how to perform similar tasks using another free Windows tool, Eraser. Eraser allows you to do some things BleachBit doesn't, such as securely erasing entire external drives. Neither of these tools allow you to securely erase your system disk. To find out how to do that, watch our tutorial on Darex, Boot and Nuke, or DBAN. And finally, we also have a tutorial on how to use the Windows tool Veracrypt to encrypt your files and hard drives to secure your data. To watch any of these videos, click or tap on the pop-up message and select them from the menu. Thanks for watching InfoSec Bytes. If you found this video useful, please share it widely with your colleagues and co-workers. To support the Centre for Investigative Journalism with a donation, please visit tcij.org forward slash donate. And if you would like to watch our other videos, please go to infosecbytes.org or subscribe to our channel below.